Unemployment numbers continue to improve. The Texas Workforce Commission reports the local rate is now 4.7%. That's down from 5% in April. A year ago with the pandemic, that number was 8.6%. Texas state numbers down about 65 and even nationally, the numbers seem to be leveling off. Some say they're finding it easier to negotiate for higher pay and better working conditions as well. It helps that the state business climate is growing stronger, something that was promised one year ago when the new North American Trade Agreement was signed. Republicans, like our Congressman Arrington, say the deal guarantees a level playing field for American workers and farmers and companies. But they also have concerns that several key provisions of the deal are not being enforced. KMAX Anna Warnke in Washington with that. One year after taking effect, Texas Republican Congressman Kevin Brady says there's a lot to celebrate about the USMCA. The USMCA cuts red tapes uh, for small businesses to buy and sell throughout North America. And this will help us exit the pandemic crisis, frankly, stronger than we entered it. The trade deal replaced NAFTA and established new labor and environmental standards to improve cross-border trade between the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. But all those improvements, whether it was uh, access to markets in Canada or leveling the playing field with uh, labor standards or food safety provisions, all of that has to be enforced. Texas Republican Jody Arrington says the Biden administration is failing to hold Mexico and Canada accountable. The deal's is not worth even the paper it's written on if we don't enforce these these provisions. We must also acknowledge that there is more work to do. U.S. Trade Representative Catherine Tai says COVID-19 has slowed the implementation of the USMCA deal, but says the Biden administration is committed to making sure all three countries are in full compliance. A good next step in this increased cooperation can be on the issue of forced labor. Earlier this month, the U.S. filed its second labor complaint against Mexico for failing to protect worker rights.